Hello and welcome, Cosmic Quantum Travelers. I hope you're doing good. I should be sleeping right now <laughs> because I need to get back up in a few hours. But Source told me otherwise <laughs> to share what's truly happening. So there's a lot happening in the field. It's been a really tough week, weeks, okay? We've been on a constant electronic and electronic harassment, negative energetic attacks, um, psychic attacks, black magic attacks, okay? Anything you could throw at us has been thrown at us because we're going right back to the beginning, right back to the start of how this has already happened. Not just a few years. This is like you taking all timelines, all of your multidimensional selves, experiences lived, unify them all as one for your multidimensional integration and ascension process and this is where truly all of these memories are flooding back all of our cosmic history records the true wisdom the gnosis who we truly are our cosmic origins okay as this fully returns this is full contact right here right now don't wait for out there you're igniting it from the inside of you usa aina eshta kena kedia esuna kana ukuru ukuru sun aita this is all about just fully let go of all that has been, all these fallen storylines, all these wars, divisions, okay, especially between the masculine and feminine. Right now, it's like you need to understand the magical shift is happening right now. And you just either shift with it or you are going to be dragged and it's not going to be fun, I can tell you that much. Because everything will be exposed, everything is going to be known from within the field of the oneness. Okay, who you are, who everyone else is, what everybody has really done, what their true intentions are. And those of us who are already in alignment with their true authentic self can read others beyond of what is happening and what they might want to make to seem what is happening and try and confuse us. So there's been a lot of confusion being thrown at us, a lot of interference in the field. Ultimately, it's like you can see it as an attack as well as it's just what happens as you fully clear all of the shit of the playing field, which is what I've been mainly doing. And this is what people need to understand. I'm constantly transmuting, clearing the collective field. I'm all, always talking from within and to the oneness to the, because there's only one of us here, always to myself, looking back at this, integrating, Further, what I'm speaking about, I drink my own champagne. That's the only way you can stay in integrity, in Akarata. And I did share more in our group call and Solstice activation, which was the most powerful yet. If you want to have some support on fully reclaiming your truly God sovereign, fully free self, the God self from within, your true power, the Ra center, your God creator power coming fully online, your Christ self, the inner divine hierogamic love reunion of the one self, the masculine and feminine Christ happening inside of you. I can highly recommend the call and activation. We went for over four and a half hours. Uh, it's titled The True Royals, Magicians, Cosmic Shamans, and Oracles Return. And I know I haven't, like, I had very little time in announcing it because there's been so much fuckery going on in the field that I had to attend to. So we take it from one hour moment to the next and ultimately what, whatever happens, however it happens, is, you know, truly not down to our control. We can only master this magic carpet ride to make it truly fun. Because if you're trying to control it, you're going to be dragged right now. All right. So the details for the quantum replay, because this is only just ignited in the field, truly our God sovereign free self, fully invincible, unfuckable with. This is where you become truly sovereign, your shield fully healed. This is us no longer giving our power away to any person, place, and thing, no matter who, what, okay? Because we're not doing anyone a favor as we are allowing distortions to take place, okay? As you say, no to people, draw these boundaries, reclaim your true self, love, worth, value, Okay, it's then going to be reflected back at you after you need to go through a period of desert-like situations. <laughs> but this is the end of the desert walk, okay? So the land of milk and honey, our new paradisian identical realities are here freaking now. The magical realms of Avalon, 
the face, the fairies, the elves, the leprechauns, gnomes, the seed, unicorns, okay, the dragon, the cosmic dragon self, the phoenix fully rising like the phoenix from the ashes. The phoenix fully rising like the phoenix from the ashes. Did you get me? Yeah. Okay. Very much connected to the dragon self, the gold ray, the golden Christ child fully reborn. This is the second coming of the Christ, and it's here fucking now, and we anchored it. Thank you so much to my amazing, amazing, truly amazing Love Bliss crew, my Ascended Mastership container, and those that take part in my calls, especially those more regularly, in helping have made the magical shit happen. And again, I'm not just saying us, but I know we are holding a massive amount of the quantum from within the collective field because we are aligned with real true truth, real reality. Uh, because a few of us truly ascended, fully awakened, fully aligned with the ascended master self, fully at one with the Godhead, no more separation playing out in our field. And our consciousness might still out there as it fully evaporates. But you fully, the master of the dream field, this is what's fully activating in the field right field right now this is the cosmic christ fully returned okay and believe me even if you feel almost the opposite right now all it takes you fully going into your deepest wounds and traumas facing them facing the fear flipping it all the way around and see it for the blessings that it is because the medicine the poison is the medicine okay so the heartbreak being triggered any core wounds is exactly there for you to decide differently now. I mean, how many times do you want to go around us and keep doing the same thing? Keep hiding away this fight, flight, freeze, okay, where we're not dealing with our fears is fully dissolved now as part of the heart and the nervous system fully healing. This is healing all. And again, this activation really, wow. This is lit it all the way up. And this is what we're going to continue now over the next three days. We keep burning this fucking artificial simulation all the way down. Because we know we came here for this. We are the glitch in the matrix and we make it so. It's not happening as we're waiting. We make the magical shit happen. And thank you to those who do. Again, if you still want to add to that, accelerate, amplify this field, but are truly all in and believe that this is what's happening now and possible. The details are in the description box. It's really going to help amplify this at a collective and also obviously personal level and clear all kinds of shit out of your field. That's for sure. That's what I'm really good at. And again, by clearing this, by expressing it, by keep shifting and changing the field, you know, again, the false ego self, the shadow self will be triggered and people who don't own it, they project this back at me. And this is what we are. We are the divine mirrors, but now we are reminding everyone of the true divinity that lies within us all as we are returning to ours. Okay, where we no longer take bullshit and we have true discernment and boundaries but it's also not barbed wires and electric fences and hiding ourselves away. Okay, this is where the cosmic Christ, especially the masculine, fully rises and true protection service fully overcomes any guilt, any shame. Okay, the false ego self, false pride in reclaiming his true divine feminine. Because yeah, in other lifetimes, you couldn't. You were literally like caught in freaking prisons and chained. But in this one, you can. It's the same as us speaking our truths. In other lifetimes, you were literally killed for it. Okay, in some parts of the world, you're still killed for really truly speaking your truth, or at least in prison. So know the gift that you have of free speech and fucking use it. This is how you speak true reality into being. Every word, every feeling, every belief, every action we take, our deepest self beliefs, expectations of reality is what plays out. And you need to realize that you have made all of the shit up. These are all self-fulfilling prophecies. This is what you come to right in the end. Once you, once you have unraveled all of the MK Ultra programming, all of the other layers of fuckery and interference, okay? Ultimately, it all comes back from within the oneness, not, you know, the mind not owning its own insanity, projecting it onto the feminine, onto the heart. She not owning her power, giving it away, but not standing in truth, speaking her truth, owning her power. Because when you as a feminine in general, the feminine principle, energies, don't doesn't own her power, her primal, primal life force, the creator, destroyer that she is of all of reality, birthing reality, okay? This is when she gives it away to the masculine and it will be abused against her. So you need to own your 
shadow. You need to own your anger. You need to own all of these parts of you to fully bring all of yourself all the way back home. That's multidimensional integration. doesn't mean that you hang on to these parts. You just lock them all the way up. You no longer project them out onto the screen because this is what has created the demons, parasites, fallen angelics. It's literally all just projected out reality. This is what you need to understand. And when you haven't attended to the deepest wounds and traumas, you will keep being triggered until you do and keep looping and keep externalizing your power and others are going to reflect this back at you with oppression, suppression, gaslighting, all of that stuff. And again, in the meantime, as you clear all of this out, it still happens, but it happens until you fully neutralize it all. Where you fully understand it's transpersonal, it's not personal, because only the false ego self is suffering here and in pain. And this is where you fully liberate yourself. I could really feel it in... I think, I think it was in the break after the activation that we did at Solstice time. Um, of truly it's like once you let go of all of this heavy karmic luggage baggage you literally like your backpack full of karmic load turns into a, a um parachute and you're truly weightless and i could see it like we once you can see it all for what it is because the higher self is laughing at all of the shit but you just need to get it right now okay this is like last jumping hopping as far as you fucking can this is the end of the fucking countdown like we had already, you know, full lift off mode a few days ago, but then shit happened. So anyway, what I was seeing before I came online is literally we had this three, two, one and full lift off. Like the one is missing. So the final trigger, okay? But this is truly, I've been seeing so many one, two, three and three, two, ones today. All of this countdown stuff. This is where the countdown ends. Ace and Akiati. Okay, and you need to take this really seriously as well as need to laugh at all of this because nothing is lost here, no one. But you need to free yourself from all the imagined scenarios you have literally come up with in your own mind of why you can't do X, Y, Z. It all exists in your mind, all of reality. It just exists in your mind. And then it's projected out. So you need to let it all the way go, the false ego mind, the false self, suffering. Believing this joy, this reality is real. Stop feeding it. Withdraw your consent, your life force, okay? Our full and final vindication is here. It's game over for the opposition. This was already a message I received, I think around the 19th. 444, So they're going to be fully exposed now for who they, who they truly are. Just from within the oneness even. As well as it will play out out there. But this is so in the bag, Okay. The next three days, again, keep lighting it up, keep amplifying the field. We get this job done as we anchor frequency, which is truth, which is consciousness, which is love, which is light. I have nothing against love and light, but it's love, light, and fuck the system. You need to own your shadow self. You need to own your primal life force. And when my expression triggers you, there's something for you to get here and reclaim and integrate and merge with. Because this is what gets the shit done. You need to reclaim this. Because we're going back to the invasion timelines that have been coming up by big invasions of if there's any financial stuff coming up, any like kind of bills or like don't know how to pay the rent, where to live, all of this stuff. Like you literally like, you know, this kind of survival stuff. And I mean, this whole matrix, because they can't take any more of our life force energetically through the luge collecting, because we're powering all the way up. The only way left is this physical, you know, everything increases in prices and it's just like, nobody can keep up. So this is where we are, have reclaimed all of our power as a true creator that we are. But for that to happen, you need to see yourself at one with all of creation, AI, the fallen angelics the worst and best person you could ever imagine. All of this is existing within our minds. There's only one of us here and we are all projecting one another out. This is a full and final reset from within the oneness. Okay, all we need to do is let go of the dream, see through the faults, see it for what it is, jump all the way into what is truly real, truly aligned with your real purpose, destiny, because when you're not in alignment with this, when you're not fulfilling your destiny and you keep being distracted by the matrix and the traps that it sets for you, yeah, there will be karmic repercussions. You're not fulfilling God's dreams, wishes. You need to follow your heart, not the mind that's been manipulated. If you keep over-analyzing everything, you're never going to get there. 
need to let the fuck go. Full flow state. You need to be the fool. Okay? I know I look like a fool, but you need to act like this ultimately. Okay? Not give a shit what anyone thinks of you. If you anger people, if you lose followers, if you lose clients, money, your livelihood. Okay? If you're in alignment with your true destiny, you will always be carried. And I'm the living example of that. I've never played it small, safe, to, to get followers, people to like me. No, I've always just speaking the truth authentically as it is needed in the field, even if it triggers the fuck out of people and they hate upon me. So be it. If this gets the job done, so be it. Somebody needs to play the role, doesn't it? Don't we? So you need to understand you're playing a role, but you need to fully accept it. But because the thing is, if you don't learn, you keep doing it, you keep looping. If your false ego self, your pride holds you back from doing the right thing, because the thing is, this doesn't go away. Your conscience, your heart is fully taken over. As from within the one and true full emerald crystal diamond rose heart awakening, fully here now, going fully supernova. Not waiting for no one, nothing. This is our full and final ascent. It's up to you to cling on to the old and suffer and be dragged. Or just jump all in and transcend your false ego self. Because it's not real. That role, the character you played in the game. But you just need to see it for what it is. Learn your lessons from the mistakes. That which doesn't feel good. And do the right thing. This is the moment, truly. It doesn't go away. This is about all the reconciliation from within the oneness. The tribes, the gray lines, okay? And you can try and wish it away and think that somebody else is at fault here. Do you know deep down what's really true? And it's arising from within us all, within our hearts, crystal core and covens networks. So that is, this is the real truth that cannot be questioned. It doesn't need to be questioned because it just arises from within each one of us. And it's eternal. And it's what truly sets us all free. And only the false ego self suffers and clings on to the false. You're not doing no one a favor. You are hindering ascension. What you truly want. Like we all need to get a grip here. And see things for what they truly are. Choose what's right. That's you in full alignment with your true self. And we don't give a fuck about anyone, anything else beyond you living your life in truth. That's what gets you all the way home. And it's time to come home. So again, as the heart and nervous system fully heal, which is now, which is you going into your traumas and wounds and understand that you're making all of the shit up ultimately. It's all self-fulfilling prophecies from within the oneness. Okay. And again, it's part of the grand design, but you also need to get it to get all the way out of the false matrix. Liberate yourself, the false ego mind. And a healed heart is an invincible heart. We are fully God sovereign and free now. True self love, respect, worth, value makes you no longer put up with shit that's not in alignment with that. Okay? Anyone gaslighting you, pretending you're not there, giving you breadcrumbs, not supporting you, projecting upon you, we're no longer having this. And we're going to just, you know, again, speak, be our truth. We don't need to convince anyone, save anyone, heal anyone. For anyone to get this, because as you truly get it and you no longer allow these distortions to play out in the field, they will get it because you're letting fully go. This is when the highest quantum possibilities fully can come in. And again, this is a whole series of letting go, surrendering, okay? Until you have set yourself and all of us fully free, which is now. So the cosmic mother, father principles fully risen, fully returned, okay? Fully align yourself with this. The second coming of the Christ, crystalline, God's source consciousness, okay? The crystalla, the inner Christ fully risen, the new cosmic citizen. Okay, we're doing this on behalf of all. This is a cosmic ascension. So there's no small undertaking as well as, you know, we're kind of like one living cellular organism, so to say, within that oneness. The totality of the singularity, which leads us all the way back home, which is our true essence. Our true nature, us understanding this, again, feeling it, knowing it, cognizant of it, living it, is what is shifting, flipping everything, okay? From 
distorted polarity to integrated polarity within a holy trinity, within the oneness, okay? You fully integrated, fully merged with your multidimensional self, the core polarities of the masculine and feminine and true love and divine reunion, any remaining wars, division, discord, fully clearing in the field along with, you know, all the fear imprints. All of these illusions of separation that are really just based on inverted thought forms and us, not, and us not seeing ourselves, others, and reality for what it truly is. Looking at everything from an upside down perspective. So this is the end of this. This is where we fully remember the true accountability, responsibility we carry to do the right thing. It's beyond our little ego self. We are here to liberate everyone, to free everyone. So notice, remember, your mission, your destiny, your hero's journey for your hero's journey fulfilled. Making yourself and Mother Father God proud as you fully surrender to the truth that you really are. We all are pure God's source consciousness in the body, experiencing itself in many fractals and expressions to unify and expand the one consciousness. We came here to build a whole new blueprint that encompasses, that basically returns the true magic of creating your own heaven upon the earth to each being. This is us fully unifying all worlds, beings, kingdoms as one. The new divine organic creatrix field, a fully multidimensional playing field. It's a totally new creation. This is why we went through everything we went through. And again, I've shared more on other calls, transmissions, look back on the videos. The calls are all truly um, filled with loads of wisdom, gnosis, keys and codes for your ascension, helping you accelerate, make it a little bit easier. But again, you all need to do, do the work, you know, keep going deeper. That's the only way through to the other side. You're fully liberated self, no longer attached to the false ego self. That's the only one that suffers. That's part of the false matrix based on inverted thought forms. Okay, where we are contracting and are afraid of our own creation, reality, others. It's not our true nature, okay? Anyway, I shared more on other videos in the call. The details are in the description box. Um, that's it. Keep lighting it up, especially over the next three, three days. Really, let's give it our all as well as total detachment. And it's already done. Truly, it's really done. And just see it unfolding. But again, we are so much part of how it unfolds, so quickly, how easily, in every now moment. You came here to hold the frequency, okay, continuously. You don't let go. Don't go back to the false self. No, not anymore. The God self fully takes over as you fully surrender to your real true self, to real truth, okay? Allow it to liberate you, even if it hurts temporarily. But really, it's the medicine that sets you fully free. That's loveless, like next stop, nirvana, loveless, pure ecstasy. Let's be this. We are ready. As you fully let go of this karmic density load. Okay, again, I can really truly help guide you there. But um, again, you need to also apply what I do talk about. So over the next three days, this activation continues to build, activate in the field to unfold. This is showtime, babies. Okay. So let's show everyone how you fly, teleport, levitate. I literally had yesterday or the day before now, 19th, out in the garden, a little bit of sunshine there. And it's going to get really nice and warm now. Ooh, summer is finally here. The forever summer holiday. Forever summer and holiday. Anyway, as I was doing my work with the grids and tuning into the field, I literally could, like, it felt like I was about to lift off, like, levitating about to levitate off the ground. I was starting to really awesome feeling. Like I could see myself before doing these things. Like I know it's possible. It's here. Like that's what we're activating. That's why I've been so focused on this. Because I know this is true liberation, freedom. Our fully activated light body, plasma light body, ank body, multidimensional access. And it's here now. Okay. But believing is seeing. You need to clear out all of the limiting beliefs, programs, blocks, in your morphogenetic field that are telling you otherwise and that don't allow this to fully activate within your field. 
Yeah. So it's like we're all ascending together out of the false matrix, but then how far everyone is ascending right now is still up to them, which I've explained plenty of over about shared. Again, look back on other videos and other calls if you feel guided to. Thank you all so much. Any like, share, subscribe, comments, any and all donations that support my work, everything I share. Um, again, more updates of how I'm continuing as and when. But for now, I'm just burning this freaking matrix all the way to the ground until it's done. I mean, anyway, always. That's what I'm here for. Um, but let's see how this goes the next few days, okay? Let's put all hearts, minds on deck, okay? The Feast of Plenty. The lands of milk and honey, okay? Our golden crystalline realities, castles in the sky, multidimensional rainbow colors, auroras all around us, true organic reality. Imagine that. Let go of the rest. It's not true. It's not real. It never was. Now we fully awaken from the dream within a dream. Smell the coffee. Wakey, wakey. Okay, it's time. This is it. Now. Enakara esuna shikanati kara ekunata karate. Because this is truly where you go right back to the beginning. You no longer let the invaders kick you out, oppress you, frighten you. It only works through fear. As you fully transcend your fear, the divine masculine sees reality for how it truly is, reclaims his true divine feminine, reclaims reality, his kingdom, the lands. We need you. Remember. It's done. It is done. It is done. It is done. Done, it's done. So it is. Well, so it was spoken because this is where destiny becomes truly fulfilled, and we return back to the beginning where we were in charge. Okay, we as the gray lines holding these blueprints for reality, as we are fully aligned with truth, we project this out on behalf of all back in the Garden of Eden in no time whatsoever. Imagine that because time, space, source, magnetic field. It's not real. And we're changing back to true divine cosmic and crystic order, the yang yun flow of eternal life, the crystal lotus flower patterning, overwriting, overwriting all and any remaining reversals, distortions, inversions within the one consciousness. True crisp crystal, true crystal clarity fully returned through us now. Okay. Because that self, that true God self is always present now. We just need to let go of the thoughts, okay? And you're there, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So much love, so many blessings. Check out the links below. If you feel guided to help amplify and um, support this field, this really powerful activation that will continue to build, amplify, activate, and bring us all the way home, okay? Full and final lift off. Three, two, one. Let's go. Ukura. Aina, ena, eshta, altarata. Be this, claim this. Use your power of manifestation, every word, thought, feeling, belief, and action you take very consciously, especially right now to create the dreams, the biggest, wildest dreams fulfilled. Okay? You came to allow God to perform these miracles through you as you fully surrender and empty yourself. Okay? Here now, fully home. So it is done. Ena karata karate. Sunata. Bye bye bye.